Assalamualaikum, Mera Nama Rabahi Assalamualaikum, Mera Nama Rabahi Welcome to Malaysia and Gracious Channel Aji Mera Asian Dini Wali Tu The Pakistan editions begin in Lahore Or Shana Karam Hai Baik, Taking Bana Chale Dekhte Hai Or Pee Baik Kete Hai Chale Shura Kare Over the next month, I'm going to be traveling up and down the length of northern Pakistan on two back-to-back -back hiking expeditions with two groups of strangers who are about to become very, very close. Pakistan is a country most solo travelers don't dare to visit with its lack of tourism infrastructure and troublesome media representation. But what we're about to find out is why that's a massive shame as we venture deep into one of the most spectacular countries in the world. Over 15 days, this trip will take us from Lahore, through the capital city of Islamabad, up to Fairy Meadows, Rakaposhi, the Hunza Valley, and deep into the Gilgit Baltistan region. And leading us on this big adventure, we have William from Ireland, who is the founder of Ready for Road Adventures. Mr. Imran Khan, no, not the former Pakistani Prime Minister, but a much younger and cooler Imran Khan. We have the newest recruit, Aziz. I am a mountain boy. And finally, our fearless driver, Baba. When we first put this trip on sale back in 2021, the trip sold out in 30 seconds. Due to unexpected COVID restrictions, we were forced to postpone this trip to 2022. So a year later, we now have 15 mystery guests traveling into Pakistan from the UK, USA, Australia, and more. This brave lot are going to be dealing with high altitudes, hot temperatures, cold temperatures, funny tummies, and some pretty hefty bus rides. It will take patience, resilience, courage, and a whole lot of positivity. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime. My name is Christiane. This is my channel, Backpacking Bananas, and welcome to Pakistan. Wow! <laughs> The trip started in Lahore. Most international flights arrive into Lahore airport in the middle of the night. So after the new group got a bit of a nap, we headed out to get acquainted with the city. And what better way to get acquainted than by tasting the local cuisine. <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> well, dry, What's supposed to happen? Spicy. Why did you do that? <laughs> Sorry, I do want a camera off. It was a chili. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Oh my god. So after that overly warm welcome into what every meal time for the next month was going to be looking like, it was time to go shopping. And what better place to come than the famous Anakali Bazaar? Our mission was to find outfits for the next day as we will be visiting some of the most well-known mosques in Lahore. <laughs> it's really hard. Oh, <laughs> yes, it will. Have we got it wrong around here? It's so wrong. Give it a swell. Yeah, it's well. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Lacey, right. How much? Okay. Mm. Mm. Like, this one, so I think that's like... like two, three, ten, 10 pounds is 300. 3,000. Oh, so 10 pounds is 3,000. Oh, no. I'll go for it. So how do we tie? Yeah. Like this? One. One. Maybe because of the air foreigner, and then, of course, the, okay. the salad sausage. <laughs> yes! That's great. So, Sophia and I, we've got our new um, headscarves today to match our outfits for tomorrow. And we're just practicing the wrap. 
I think what the guy in the store showed me was like this to the side here, and then he took this and then he oh. went around. So oh no, no. Oh. I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But he, he did correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, the twist is, yeah. is right. Oh. Nine. It is officially day one in Pakistan. Yesterday was just technically day zero, so everyone was arriving. And today, everyone is here, and we are off exploring around Lahore. And our first stop is Lahore Fort. I don't think I need the mask on just yet, but we probably will when inside. I'm wearing the dress that I got yesterday, which is very exciting. And I've got a headscarf, which I can put on when we go into the mosques. <laughs> so guys, you are welcome to Lahore Fort here. So you are very lucky you are in Lahore because uh, you know there's a very famous saying about Lahore that one who has not seen Lahore is not yet born. Traditionally, the construction of Lahore and Lahore Fort attributed to the son of Lord Ram. You know Rama was Hindu spiritual leader. He had two sons, Kush and Lahore. We have a small town Kasur, took the name after Kush, and Lahore took the name after Lahore. The old name of Lahore was Low Court. And Low was governor at that time, and his period was between 800 to 1200 BC. So he built here a mud fort here. 3000 years ago, it was a mud fort here. He's going to blow inside. After the blow of three seconds, the water will come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! We didn't need a guide to know that man has a very happy wife. We did, however, need a guide to learn about Shish Mahal, the beautiful palace of mirror that has a complex mirror work locally known as Ayina Kari. Yeah, come close, come close and see up there. Oh, wow. Great. So this was so beautiful views Oh, this is very good. I got my hand hennaed. So nice. That was 200 rupees. I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to touch anything. Yeah. Maybe, maybe on the way out, we get the other hand up. Maybe after yeah. lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are now entering into the famous Godhashi Ma Mosque. Mosque. No, mosque. And that mosque became the chain of mosques. So beautiful. So big. So many intricate details. Bad Shahi Mosque, also so known as the Emperor's right. Mosque, was constructed by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb between 1671 and 1673, and it was the largest mosque in the world until 1986. Welcome to Wazir Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Despite my third attempt that day, I still hadn't quite mastered the headscarf application. It's hit and miss, like most of my skills. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Wazir Khan was also built in the 1600s and became the official destination for the Emperor's Friday congregational prayers. So after a quick look around, it was time for some well-deserved lunch. Luckily, no chilies disguised as cherries today. But the adventures had not finished for the day as we then drove our way east to the border of Pakistan where it meets India. Okay, we've arrived at the Wagga border, which is the border between Pakistan and India. And every single day, they have a big standoff. So on the Pakistani side, it's about you can make the most noise, you can scream the loudest, you can play the loudest music, how high they can kick over their head, who's got the bigger muscles. And then the Indian side, they do the same thing. And they also do this little Bollywood dance in their hundreds. So yeah, we're basically going to watch the ceremony. We had to put on our best smiles because apparently today you had to be on some kind of special guest list to enter and I don't think we were but we put on our best smiles and then let us in anyway which is a happy day. So now we've got about like a one kilometre walk all the way to the stadium over there. The border. I bought a flag for 200 rupees. Woohoo! Go go Pakistan! <laughs> necessary to do. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> oh, so if you can't 
can't tell. This is Pakistan right here. Behind those gates, that's India. Okay, so I know they do this every day, but this felt like such a special experience. The energy that hits you as you enter the stadium full of roaring people, cheering for their country is just electric. It's absolutely infectious and we were all loving it. And I know it's not actually a competition and there's no prize, but if there was, Pakistan won that day. My God, what a moment and what a great way to finish off our time in Lahore. Now onwards and upwards through Pakistan. On our way up to the mountains, we are making a somewhat fleeting stop in the capital city of Islamabad. This is beautiful. We've now made it to the city of Islamabad, the capital city of Pakistan. Uh, we're having a fairly quick stop here. We're here for just one night. And the first place that we've come to is the Faisal Mosque. And it's incredible. In Lahore, it was just completely misty and overcast the whole time. It was also incredibly humid. Whereas in Islamabad, it feels a bit more like a dry heat and things are a little bit more spaced out. I'm actually really surprised at how different the cities are and how different that they feel. Islamabad feels almost a bit more like a Western city. Anyone else getting Hunger Games vibes? Because I am. This is pretty nice. It's better than I thought. This, this is my favorite mosque so far. This is my face. This is a nice, quite a nice mosque. It was donated by the King of Saudi Arabia in the 70s. And the reason why it's kind of shaped in the, almost like a tented fashion mm -hmm. is because of course the, the Bedouin or the, the kind of the, the nomadic culture of Saudi Arabia. It's, uh, it's become a, a real a landmark for Pakistan. You see a lot of the money. Uh, it's the first thing you'll see when, when you type in Islamabad in Google. Ah. But it's quite nice, very big, very spacious, very modern looking, quite yeah. chic compared to the old. But you said it was made in the 70s. It yeah. looks more modern than the 70s. It has a very modern style, yeah. Yeah, and I'd also say it's giving me Hunger Games vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we're in the capital. It's futuristic. Someone's about to be sacrificed. Mm. Before we left the city, we set off on a short hike close to the city in the Margala Hills. Hello, hello, Adventure Christy yeah. and Adventure Ziggy. Hello! Here with our Adventure hats. <laughs> Definitely the coolest on the trek. And we've been going for like half an hour, 1.5 kilometers, 150 meters of elevation gain, just over. So we're doing well on the Margala Hills, which I called the Masala Hills. <laughs> When um, when I was trying to remember the name earlier, because I think the Masala Hills sound very fitting. Chicken Tikka Masala Hills. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Absolutely. How are you feeling, Sophia? Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. So far. Yeah, yeah. It was not as far as I thought it was going to be. 2.12 kilometres. Three quarters of an hour. 233 meters of elevation gain, 243 active calories burnt, all the important stats for you. And now we have the most beautiful view over Islamabad. How gorgeous. A few of us did get lost along the way because Will was like powering forward like super fast with half the group. And then there was four or five of us, like me, Colin, Ziggy, and who else were we with? Tash. Um, we were just kind of behind a bit and then suddenly there was a bunch of forks and we were like, which one do we take? Which way do we go? But 
It's all good. We made it to the right one. Uh, I wonder if we can see the Faisal Mosque from here, the good mosque that we were just at. So I don't know if you can see, but over there behind that hill is the Faisal Mosque. And this beautiful view concludes our time in Islamabad and our time in this episode. Coming up next, we make the long bus journey north into the mountainous region of Pakistan and tackle our first big trek up to Fairy Meadow and attempting Nanga Parbat Base Camp. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss what's coming, and we'll see you then. Bye bye. Okay, you're a <laughs> okay. Mm. wonderful experience, I must mm. say. Yeah. So, in this video, they cover a lot of moss mm. in Lahore. Lahore and Islamabad. Yes. So I can say that it's interesting activities. Uh, they cover hill, moss, um, the market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I yeah, really love to experience that. But in uh, moss in Lahore, there's a lot of details. Uh, the old architecture. It's magnificent. Mm -hmm. It's oh wow! It's just blow up your mind yeah, yeah. Islamabad is modern and it's, it's Islamabad right but yeah, Islamabad, Islamabad. <laughs> the, the Faisal Mosque is, is futuristic uh, mm -hmm. concept mm -hmm. uh, yes. the building design is futuristic compared to the local one it's old building but it's beautiful mm -hmm. you know it's, it's hot I don't know how to explain but it's it is beautiful in, in its way mm -hmm. um, yes. yeah all right, guys, thank you so much for your suggestion. If you like this video, please share it with your family members and friends. Don't forget to share it on your social media as well. Please subscribe to our channel, Malaysian Girl Rations. Follow our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also TikTok, Malaysian Girl Rations. Thank you so much. Till next time, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.